Good morning. It is Tuesday. It's 5.30. Just getting ready to leave for work. Um, yesterday, unfortunately, was a rain day. So if you guys are wondering where the videos have been, Friday I wasn't able to video. And then uh, yesterday, you know, we didn't work. So I wasn't able to get any video either. So uh, yesterday was actually pretty good for me, though, because I was able to catch up in a lot of stuff. Uh, I was able to finish up all the details for the sale of the landscape business, which will uh, looks like it'll happen on uh, Saturday, uh, this upcoming weekend. So today we're going to uh, finish up the driveway that we have been working on with the colored and stamped borders. We'll be pouring those this morning. And uh, then tomorrow we're going to be starting a new job. It's a patio project with some colored and stamped borders. And then later this week, uh, we'll be doing a driveway uh, front sidewalk. It's a good sized driveway. And then we're also going to be removing and replacing the garage floor. So all right, I'm gonna get to work and I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Morning, Scott. Good, how's your coffee business going? It's still here, it's still good. going good. Good, good, good. Oh, hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Look good. I didn't know if you were ready. Oh, I am ready. Yeah. You ready? I'm always ready. Yeah. Ooh, all right. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you, see you next time. Yes. All right, it is 6.05, just pulling into the yard. And incredibly, uh, Daryl is right behind me. <laughs> Unbelievable. Daryl's been doing good lately. I'm very proud of him actually. He's been showing up early every day for quite a while. Well guys, it's gonna be a day full of wind noise today, unfortunately. Tomorrow too. Tomorrow's supposed to be even windier than today. There he is. Where's everyone? Where is everyone? You guys are early. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta do that over again. You ready? Yes, sir. Yeah, now we're talking. <laughs> Where's everyone? You guys are early. It's I'm only a, to 5.30. It's not even 6.10. It's supposed to be here at 6.15. <laughs> you guys are on the ball today. <laughs> Where's your dad? Sleeping in the car? Yeah. <laughs> he didn't even want to get up this morning. No? No. Did you wake him up? Yeah, I had to. Really? Yeah. That's bad. Did you how did you wake him up? Did you slap him? No. You should have. <laughs> oh, that is cool. You guys beat Bugs here again. He's going to be angry about that. I know. The dad looks like he's pulling up for a drive-by. <laughs> <laughs> so someone suggested that for 100k that you do the chicken dance. The chicken dance? Yeah. What's the chicken dance? You never heard of the chicken dance? Is that the one where you go like this? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Daryl Jr., come and grab some stamps. You're not just here to be handsome, you gotta do some work too. Handsome? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Should we take that full roll of plastic? I got I got almost a full roll and a little roll. All right, that's enough. Huh? I would think we'd have enough. I'm gonna be a few minutes behind. I gotta run to my house. I forgot something I really need. All right, we'll see you All right so Eric said his car won't start. So he's gonna take his other car and drive to the job. I'm not sure why that really made him late though. <laughs> and Francisco's meeting at the job. He called me this morning. So I got to run to my house and then we're going to run to the job. All right. Let's pull up on the job. One person's job is going to have to be the. That's what I'm going to do as we hold it. Tuck the plastic as we pour. Because right. that's important. Otherwise, it'll tear the edges out. Yeah, that's I know. That's what I'm going to do. Tuck it as we go. No, I went to the gym on Saturday. I was just hitting a bag and stuff. All right, is this this stuff we're done with, right? Yeah. Let's get all that picked up. Uh, I don't think we need any of this stuff here. Look at this, how much money I'm making on TikTok. Whoa! $23 right there. I got $21. Do you really? Yeah. I'm beating you though. Man. Yes. Bugs, when do they har when does when does like harvesting take place in Wisconsin usually? Fall this time. Now or even later? The, now and later. But why? What are you thinking? 
because there's a guy that does custom harvesting in Belgium that invited me out to oh, they'll be going watch him. Month. He wants me and him to come. Oh, he'd like it. He said, I want you and Daryl Jr. He likes the equipment. He'd like that. Yeah. He'd like it. My kind of equipment right there. Yeah? You excited? Yeah. I'll email him. I'll tell him we'll come. Yeah. I just got to find out his schedule. I think Ryan wants to practice with him. Nah, you guys won't want to practice with me. What you know about this, Greg? What you know about this? <laughs> what you know about this? Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> My son's in college and they have like a, what they're called fellowships, like basically groups of guys. Uh -huh. They group different uh, people together. Mm -hmm. uh, they all want to come to the gym and learn how to kickbox because they all watch my video. So I was thinking about renting the gym and bringing them over there and giving them a workout. Yeah, yeah that'd be good. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Oh, never mind. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, one time I don't like this stuff. I think every every ministry student should be hitting the head at least once. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, just to see what it feels like. <laughs> oh, that's not bad, man. They're on time. I'm actually very surprised. I hope they didn't forget my color. I better move my... I'm going to move my truck. Morning. This is my truck. I'll move it. You can park right here. We're going to wheel it kind of where that wheelbarrow is. You got the color in the truck, right? Yes. Wow, you guys are on time and everything. Yeah. Good. I'll get this out of your way. You know how to fill up the wheelbarrows? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Don't fill it in unless that plastic is perfect on the edge. It's got to be tucked in perfect or edging it is a nightmare. Tip it back a little bit more towards you, please towards you it's spilling that's what I don't want we're trying to make a little as mess as possible just coming out of bed no I've been off of it I know I know today's your birthday it's your birthday yeah is it really man we 64 63 so this homeowner just told us it's his birthday today so we're gonna pour him a little birthday cake should be pretty cool are we doing okay? Thank you. You tired? Okay. Daryl says we're doing great, so that puts us all in a good mood. Eric, bring a shovel. Bring a shovel or? No, sir. Does it look like I need a shovel full right here? Wow. You can't tell that's high? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Well, not well that dirt in. Dirt? Wow. I taught you well. Yep. Don't rub that dirt in. <laughs> When we go to edge this and stuff, this plastic can fool you because it's puffy, you know, sticking up. Always, always, always you float the edge before you use your edger. And you always put the heel of your mag on the edge on this side. And you rub it right on there make sure that it's flat. See how flat that is against the edge? And then here you use the opposite side of your mag and you rub that right on the edge. You feel that concrete edge. 
You don't want that low or high, you want that right on. And that's before you run your edger, okay? Sure. It's really important. You can make a nice job like this look butched because your edges are low or high. Don't be walking on this no more, nah, man. I won't. <laughs> you won't. Look at where your feet are. Right here. Get the hose again and spray it down again. What's that right there? That's color. That'll that stain. That's concrete, man. That'll stain. Nobody walk on this concrete anymore. Off limits. All right, everything's going good. We got the borders all filled in for the most part. Guys have just a little bit to go down there in the corner. So next step is to edge all this once it sets up just a little bit more. And as we edge it, we'll actually float it nice and smooth and that'll be the end of it. And then we just wait for it to set up and we'll stamp it. All right, so we just got those borders down and I uh, just wait for it to set up a little bit before we edge it. We're gonna edge it and finish it all at one time. So then all we have to do is come back and stamp it. So. I have my breakfast, some hard boiled eggs. So I'm officially on a diet, so I'm not gonna be in a good mood. <laughs> I don't like diets, I've dieted a lot. I know how to diet. Um, I'm pretty versed in diets. I've been up and down for many years. I never get really, really huge, but I get overweight for sure. And then I drop it off and then I get overweight again. It's kind of a cycle, but um, I'm not gonna make a big deal of it on the channel. I am gonna mention it occasionally. Uh, like to know if any of you would like to join me uh, so we could keep each other motivated. Uh, that would be pretty cool. I could do something on Facebook or whatever. I'm not gonna make it a major theme on the YouTube channel, but if anybody wants to join me, leave it down in the comment section. If there's enough interest, if any of you out there uh, wanna you know, get in shape, stay healthy, uh, whatever, let me know. And um, you know, if there's a bunch of you, we'll do it. We'll do it together, victory style. Eric, don't walk through the neighbor's yard, man. Have a little bit of respect, dude. Come on. Daryl's busy, I see. He's playing on TikTok. If I were you, if I were you, dude, I would I would get side work next year and start to build your tool arsenal and have your truck. I mean, if I were you, you should be thinking about going into business in a couple years. That's what I was thinking. You know what I mean? You can't be working for somebody. If you got the talent and the skill, uh, you know, to, to what what happened to my truck, man? Do you know what happened here? Daryl! Daryl, nobody's gonna know what happened here. I know that already. Do you know what happened to my truck? Somebody hit it with something or backed into something. Do you know what happened? No, I don't. Of course you don't. I, did, I didn't even notice that. Eric, you know what happened? Tell me the truth. Mm -mm. It was not like that. I can tell what somebody did. Somebody jackknifed it. Hey? I bet you that's what I'm sure it was. Yeah, that's a poke right here. Mm -hmm. See? Somebody jackknifed it. Yes, that was sir. probably you, Eric. Oh, it was a nice truck. Now it's busted up. How this thing you, was mint. That discourages me, man. Like, I want to throw in the towel and close Victory's doors. Man. Let me in, boss! <laughs> Did you just say it's not his fault? It is his fault. Well, it's not like it's all his fault because he doesn't have much, he doesn't have much experience on trailers and stuff. Oh, okay, so it's not his fault. Hmm. Gotcha. Hey, are you ready? Yes, sir. Are you wheel going? Don't pull it, dude. Don't pull it. Mr. Bobber. Yes. That's why I came down to see you for you. I was going to call. Yeah, I need you tomorrow for sure. Okay, this is just a special little video here. Um, uh, this is separate from today's, today's video. So I just want to say thank you for all the for all the 100 subscribers. I mean, all you guys since <laughs> I would have been able to do any of this stuff. I mean, 100k subscribers. That's amazing. Okay. Uh, are you Brian, we're not doing the edge trail on the house? Yeah, on the felt, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Daryl, come and run the camera if you're not doing anything. At least you can run something. Run the camera, man, if you're not doing anything else. Fine. Make yourself useful. All right. Throw the people your head. <laughs> Take your hat off. Look at that. 
Look at that, how handsome can you get? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Excuse me? <laughs> what are you doing over here, man? Cool. You look at all the dirt and crumbs all over the place. Yeah. Oh, You're the one pulling oh, pins behind me. Yeah. Nobody oh, else was back here. My foot, my foot. Yeah, obviously. I didn't even know this. Tell Sorry. Tell him. Ah, glad it's not hot when we're doing this. I'm telling you, with all these edges, yeah. you been in trouble with all these dirt. I gotta edit all that. <laughs> Fifty dollars. It's like people want to watch Gerald talk for an hour and a half straight. Look, look. <laughs> it's always fun for me to watch, though. <laughs> it is. You just gotta put it out there. All right, so this is the release powder, and this will turn a dark gray once it gets sealed, washed and sealed. So it'll be a light gray underneath with a dark gray accent. It's gonna look really nice. See right here it gets rougher, clearly. Eric, you can clearly see the difference where it's smooth and rough. See that? You don't want any subtle changes like that or it'll change the color. Where is it? You can't see that. Yes. What's the difference between the color? I mean? It's a different stone pattern. Oh, so different? you don't have repeat, 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 oh, repeat. That was from the release. <sighs> I got red Come here, Eric. See how ugly this is right here? See how ugly that is? You gotta take the skin and you gotta fill that in and you gotta take your finger and fix that and then roll it. You can't have no ugly stuff like that, dude. Like, you're the finish guy. Like, you gotta come through with the eyeball and be like, that's great, that's that, now I gotta fix that. You know what I'm saying? The roller man has the easy job, but it's also an important job. Because nobody comes after you except for sealer, and by that time it's too late. I got the weight on it though, Bugs. Yeah, it'll work. <laughs> work here. I'm going as fast as I can, man. Can Bug, I can hardly keep up the Bugs. Can you move your arms too while you're doing that? I can. Yeah, see? <laughs> That's cool. That's it. You skin that along the house? That looks good, man. Yep. Sure that does. looks really good. Once this thing is sealed, it's going to be beautiful. That turned out super nice. Once this is all washed and sealed, it's going to look great. It looks so dope, right? Looks so what? Dope. dope. Oh, it looks dope, yeah. I mean, that's not the word I would use, but I understand what you're saying. Dope. It looks dope. Look, I made him a cake. Oh, that is nice. 63 victory style. Yes. That is sweet. Yeah, he went golfing. We made him a birthday cake. Oh, he can eat it when he gets home. Yeah, he can eat it when he gets home. <laughs> Tell him that's his birthday cake from Victory right there. <laughs> yes. Then he can remember forever. Forever, yeah. Like forever and ever. <laughs> hey, you know Daryl Jr., he did absolutely nothing today. No, he really did absolutely nothing. Oh, he hooked the hose up. <laughs> he hooked the hose up the hose to the spigot. That's it. We were just thinking you pretty much did absolutely nothing today. So how does it feel? Easy money!
Tomorrow Bugs is going to come back. We won't be here. There's not much left to do. He'll come back and cut the plastic right out of the edge. Okay. Can't do that now because you'll scratch a new concrete. Uh, and then he'll rinse everything down, get it all clean. And then Saturday I'll come and do the final rinse and seal. Okay. And then it'll be 100%. Everything turned out really nice, so it looks really good. Got the nicest driveway on the block for sure. 14,000 views on the TikTok from the one I made this awesome. morning. I can't get those ones in the millions anymore. Those first couple I made went into the millions. And I can't get that anymore. I get like 30, 40,000, 25,000, 63,000, 77,000. I don't know what happened. TikTok hates me. All right, we are out of here. Borders are all done. Uh, so we left the plastic in there, the tabs, and then tomorrow morning, Bugs is gonna come and pressure wash this entire job. And then he'll, he'll dip a knife right into the seam, cut the plastic out clean. And then Saturday, I'm gonna come and wash and seal it. So you guys will actually get to see the finished product. I know it's hard sometimes with colored and stamping. Uh, to get them on video but saturday's video when i make it it'll have this job included you guys will be able to see the job completely sealed so that'll be nice all right i am filthy with release right now so i'm gonna put a blanket on my front seat yeah man that's gonna look so nice when it's all done Man, it's crowded in here. Can you can you mow down dandelions with this? Oh yeah. How you doing? How are you? Good. You busy? It's been pretty steady. Yeah, that's good. All right, so we're back at the yard. Eric, Francisco, and myself are gonna go to lunch, do a little bit of mowing. All right, you guys are gonna take the silver truck, the mowing truck. All right, uh, just go in this truck and then go over by the by the pond. You remember where it is, right? Off of Mill Road there. Why are you guys all trying to fight all the time now? Just cause, just because you've seen that. Now you guys are all amped up. You want to fight each other. Hey, I, I can I can arrange that. I got plenty of. I got a gym, I got gloves, anytime you guys want to go, let's go. And, and then winner take all against me. Yeah. <laughs> you got glasses, right? Safety glasses? I'm going to give you guys a lesson on how to use these speed feed heads. You guys need to pay attention. There's a little arrow on this ring. See this ring and they're all the same and then see there's an arrow? Yeah. See that's an arrow right there? Mm -hmm. You line that arrow up with the hole. Okay? okay? And then you take the string and you push the string all the way through. What the hell? You see that? We were so dull, we were doing it by hand. You push it all the way through and then you take the string, hold that shaft so it doesn't fall. And then you take the string and then you make it equal lengths. Oops, drop it. You make it equal lengths like this, okay? And then you throw it down and then you can spin it over and then what you do is you just hold this you hold this part and you just reel it in you see we were doing this so dumb bro you guys you guys had no idea how to do it did you you show me the other way i didn't show you no other way this is how you do it it's how you always do it where the hole so that's it and they even it out that's it and it's done Get the, okay, listen to me. You got to get this rock, these rocks, those rocks, those rocks. Have you been across the street? Yeah. And then go across the street, and you got to get around all the rock piles there too. Yeah, there's a big one. And you just have him follow you around. And then that whole side there, you got to mow that whole area with the weed trimmer. Like we did last time, right? Yeah. Yes. Nice. But now you got two of these, so it should go fast. Oh, oh wow. Ryan has a big mess in here. He's got to get all this stuff out of here, man. These are $350 Costas, okay? Do not scratch these things. Be very careful. These are my fishing glasses. How much are they? They're $350. They're Costas. They're real glass. Please don't scratch them, man. Put paint on my glasses. Please. I've been making payments on those for three years, and I'm almost done. What? Please don't mess them up. I have to pay. It's still better than you losing an eye, though. And now you guys don't even know how to start them either. 
Oh, man. Yeah! Oh. Got it. It's the same as hell, right? It's exactly the same. If this is the kill switch, you see it says stop. You just pump it up. There's no gas in there right now, so you gotta pump it a few times. All right, that pond's done. That wasn't really too bad. The ground is relatively dry, so it wasn't bad. Over there, it's all weedy and bumpy. It's so bumpy, you can't mow that, so that's why the guys weed whipped all that area there. But it doesn't take long, as you saw. Now they gotta cross the street and do the huge pond over there. Hey, 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 you forgot this one. You guys busy? Yep. What you doing? Uh, having a conversation. No, you're supposed to say I'm having a meeting. Oh. It sounds more business-like. Uh, I really need you guys to go cut my house at my house. Okay. But you can run the stander. Okay. You know what you're doing? Yeah. I mean, enough to cut it? Yeah. All right. I'm probably, well, no, I'm not going to be there. I got a bunch of those stuff. I got two other stops I got to make. So just go cut that and then you guys are done. Okay. All right. I'll see you in the morning. Yep. See you in the morning. What other boss would borrow you money to buy a work truck so you can do side jobs and start your own business? No, tell me the truth. No, none. Like, none. None. Really appreciate none. It, it's only one man you can trust like that. That's right, bro. You know, you already know. Like you already know. In April, he's like, uh, Ryan, I'm, I got my own thing, so I ain't gonna be coming back or anything like that. He's like, and let me borrow a couple more grand because I gotta get this kids here. I'm feeling. All right, so I just borrowed Eric some money. He needs a truck. He had that old, you guys seen his green truck, it was falling apart, the bed was basically ready to fall off. So I borrowed him money, he needs to get a work truck for a side job, and uh, I'm fine with that, man. Whatever I can do to help somebody improve their life, um, you know, if he wants to go into business, I think he probably has what it takes eventually. He's a young guy, he's got a lot of time. Um, I'm all for it, man, I'm all for it. There are plenty of guys, young guys coming up, uh, guys that can come and work for me, and you know, that's just, that's just the way it is. That's life. And uh, I, don't, I don't try to hang on to my guys for dear life. So if they're going to go off and do bigger and better things, then, uh, you know, I'll be I'll stand behind them. You already know where I am. B-52s again. You busy? You playing on TikTok? You watching one of my videos? Oh, man. You on my Facebook? No. Oh, you're breaking my heart, man. I have the salad. I'm on a diet again. Why? Oh, I'm so big again. I gotta go back to my salad ways. All right, guys, I'm pulling into a mower dealer here. One of a few that I stop at and buy stuff from. I'm gonna see what they got for sale because I sold, or basically I'm in the process of selling all my landscape equipment and I still have a big yard. So I need something to mow my own yard 
Uh, my yard's about an acre, obviously minus the house and the concrete. So I'm gonna see what they have. I'm probably gonna end up buying another stander. I really like standers, especially just around all the obstacles. It doesn't take up as much space in the garage and all that. Good, how are you? Good. So you guys are selling the uh, Altos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bought one years ago and uh, it was when they first came out and I don't think they were tested yet. Thing had all kinds of little glitches and stuff. I actually ended up returning it, so. Yeah, they've gotten quite a bit better. But... Yeah, I'm sure. So for standards, you just got basically Egg. the skeg, eh? How much do these go for, the V-Ride 2? Uh, 10-ish. Yeah. Euro 61. So what do you hear about guys that use those? I've, I've never ran a skeg. I mean, in comparison to whatever else types of mowers. Well, if you're buying it to cut there... grass, it's the best cut in the industry, period. Yeah. No one else can cut them. So if that's what you're buying it for, which is what most people buy lawnmowers for, it cuts better than anything else. All right, thank you, man. Hey, thank you. Yep, have a great day. So the Skag 52 inch with the 37 horsepower brakes is a 10.5 plus tax. That's a lot of money for a standard, man. Okay, I'm pulling into another local dealer here. This is Bill's Power Center. I've done quite a bit of business with these guys. Some cool people in here. I like them. I like them. So they sell Gravelys, or at least they used to. Well, they still do. I see a couple riders out there. I don't know if they have any standards. They don't have a real big uh, area, a retail area. So I don't know what they have in stock, but we'll find out. Good, how are you guys? They got one Gravely. Let's see what it is. They got one Gravely stander. Looks like a 50. Oh, it's a 48. Uh, I don't really want a 48. I want a 52. $8,500. Looks like it's the only option they have here right now, though. I really don't want to sit down. I used to have a Z-Master, not this year. What's going on with you? Same stuff? You know it. Yes. Oh, I don't know. I just sold my landscape business, or I'm in the process of selling it. But the problem is, I sold all my mowers and I got an acre for myself. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So I'm probably gonna buy it. I'm probably gonna buy a new machine. Yeah. What? I shouldn't say I'm probably. I am definitely gonna buy a new machine. You guys gonna have any sales or what? No Come on. Boston will stay with the price. What do you, What do you think about that? Just give me a deal. Just give me a deal and don't tell them. Who cares? Well, we don't really. That, that's the good. Now we're talking. Yeah, it's <laughs> a six sixty. Yep. I didn't know they had a 600 series now. Yeah, yeah they've been out all year. That thing is tall though. That center of oh, gravity's yeah, got to be a little cool. higher. The whole, uh, the whole deck moves. Platform on it. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a monster. So, yeah, see what the price is on that. The 52. On a 52 Pro Man? Yeah, the 48 is not big enough. I had a grandstand like this too. I really like this stander. Uh, I had a 48 inch grandstand that was actually the first mower that i ever bought first commercial mower and i actually really liked it it was nice it was nice i i yeah i had a right i had a right z and uh i don't know yeah, I, I didn't really like it to be honest i didn't like i don't even remember what i didn't all like about it but i remember there was just some things i didn't like about it so i didn't have a standard though it was a z and, uh, and you're gonna be looking about nine grand yeah it's still a lot cheaper than a, a skeg. The skegs were like 10 5. Yeah. That's pretty expensive for a standard, man, in my opinion. Yep. Why don't you take my number and let me know? Because I'm going to do something next week if I do something. All right, well, give me a call and let me know. All right, All right see you guys. Yeah. All right, that wraps up our day for today. Um, I'm curious, I know there are a lot of landscapers that watch the channel. If you were going to go out and buy a new standard tomorrow, what would you buy what's your favorite brand and why uh so my options with those two dealers between the two dealers were uh skag uh, toro grandstand 
uh, right and then a gravely so uh, I really like my gravely I have no complaints the only problems I've ever had with it were a couple safety switches which I think is pro probably pretty common uh, with mowers so let me know down in the comments section so okay well uh, I'm heading home I'm gonna start editing video and I will see you guys in the morning adios <laughs>